good morning dear aspirant to start with today's news supreme court to hear petitions against passing laws as money bills so this comes under gs2 polity so chief justice agree to list petitions challenging the money bill route to taken by the central government usually the money bill uh, is supposed to be passed there are, there is no any uh, veto power for uh, rajya sabha so whenever the central government wants to bring any uh, any uh, bill as their own they just introduce as money bill for example aadhar they have introduced as a money bill so there are, there would be any question to be raised definitely it have to be passed as an uh, act so uh, so now uh, supreme court decided that there were so much of petition challenging the money bill route the government has taken this route to make any bill as an act Uh, so what is money bill money bill is a type of law legislation that relates to the appropriation of money from the consolidated fund of india money bills are typically related to financial matters like taxation public expenditure and public debt so the criteria for a money bill is the imposition abolition remission alteration or regulation of any tax the regulation of the borrowing of money or the giving of any guarantee by the government of india the custody of the consolidated fund or the contingency fund of india um, the payment of money into the withdrawal of money from any such fund so the appropriation of money out of consolidated fund declaring of any expenditure to be uh, to be expenditure charged on consolidated fund of india the receipt of money on account of the consolidated fund of india or the public account of india or the custody or issue of such money so procedure for the passage of money bill in parliament money bill can only be introduced in the lok sabha and with the recommendation of the president money bills are considered government bills and can only be introduced by a minister after a money bill is passed by the lok sabha it is transmitted to the rajya sabha for consideration the rajya sabha has limited powers with regard to money bills and can only make recommendation and cannot reject or amend the bill So Rajya Sabha must return the bill to the Lok Sabha within uh, 14 days. Lok Sabha can accept or reject any recommendation made by the Rajya Sabha. If the Lok Sabha accepts any recommendation, the bill is deemed to have been passed by both the houses. If the Lok Sabha does not accept any recommendation, the bill is deemed to have passed by both the houses in form originally passed by the Lok Sabha. The Lok Sabha has more powers than the Rajya Sabha with regard to money bill. When a money bill is presented to the president, he may give or withhold his assent to the bill, but cannot return the bill of consideration. President normally gives assent to a money bill as it is introduced in a parliament with his prior permission. Archaeological Survey of India. This comes under JS1 Art and Culture. The uh, the structure of Bojeshala complex in Dar district of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, was re, uh, was actually uh, constru- uh, was constructed using the remains of a temple it is said that asi in the scientific survey reported so asi is a premier organization for the archaeological researches and protection of the cultural heritage of country the prime objective of asi is to maintain the archaeological sites ancient monuments and remains of national importance headquarters is located in new delhi It is established in 1861 it regulates all archaeological activities as per the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act 1958 it functions under the aegis of union ministry of culture it also regulates antiquities and art treasure act 1972 rbi revises rules on fraud risk management this comes under gs3 economy so the rbi on monday issued three revised master directions on fraud risk management for regulated ent- entities like commercial banks including rrbs and all india financial institutions rbi has abbreviated as rbi uh, in india central bank and regulatory body responsible for regulation of indian banking system it is responsible for the control issue and maintaining supply of the indian rupee the rbi was established in 1934 under the rbi act The bank was set up based on the recommendation of 1926 Royal Commission on Indian Currency and Finance also known as Hilton Young Commission. Though privately owned initially it was nationalized in 1949. The composition of RBI is one governor, four deputy governors, two finance ministry representatives, 10 government nominated directors, 
four directors who represent local boards for Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai and Delhi. Each of this local board consists of five members who represent regional interest and the interest of cooperative and indigenous banks. Thank you. Have a great day.